Hi, second grade. This is Miss Weiss. Today I am doing the lesson for Wednesday, May 20th, 2020, day eight of your packets. Let's get started. We are going to start with unlock the problem. Please make sure that you have your packet with you. Let's read the problem. Shane needs 65 blocks to make a tower. He only has 48 blocks. How many more blocks does he need? The first box says, what is he, what do we know? What is important? We know that Shane needs 65 blocks. So I'm going to write needs 65. But he only has 48. So he needs 65, but he only has 48. That's important information from the problem. Let's keep going. What are we trying to find? What is the question? I'm going to underline the question. How many more blocks does he need? We are trying to find how many more blocks Shane needs to build his tower. What is the unit? Take a minute to think, what are we talking about in this problem? The unit is blocks. We are talking about how many blocks Shane needs to build the tower. So that is our unit today. How will we use the information to solve the problem? This is where we need to think about what equation we could write to help us solve the problem. You can pause the video to think about if we are adding or subtracting. And once you've decided, write an equation to match to solve the problem. To help me decide if we're adding or subtracting, I'm going to draw a number bond. It always helps me to think about if we're missing a part or the whole. Shane needs 65 blocks to make a tower. He only has 48. 48 is one part. It's all he has, and we know he needs more. He needs 65 to make the tower. So 65 is our whole. That's how many he needs altogether. That means that we are missing a part. When we're missing a part, do we add or subtract? If you said subtract, you're right. We take a part away from the whole to find the missing part. So the equation you could write is 65, that's our whole, minus 48. I'm writing this equation vertically. You could also write it horizontally. Great job. Now solve your subtraction equation to find out how many more blocks Shane needs. Remember to answer your, your question in a full sentence. In second grade, we always start sentences with a capital letter and end with punctuation. Also make sure that you include the unit in your sentence. When you are done, send a picture to your teacher so they can see your great work. Today, we are going to review money again. It's a little bit tricky just looking at the picture of the coins, but I want you to do your best to try to figure out which coins you see, and we are going to find out the total value of each row of coins. Let's start with the first row. What coin is that? If you said nickel, you are right. I could tell that it was a nickel because I can see that it's the medium size silver coin, and I can also see that on these coins, it says five cents, and nickels are worth five cents. Since nickels are worth five cents, we can count by fives to figure out how much this row of coins is worth. Let's count together. Five, 10, 15. There are three nickels and three fives is the same as 15. So we have 15 cents. Don't forget to put cents, that's our unit. Let's look at the next row of coins. What coin is this? If you said dime, you're right. This is the smallest silver coin. It's a dime. How much are dimes worth? Dimes are worth 10 cents. So we are going to count by tens. Let's count together. 10, 20, 30. This row of coins with three dimes is worth 30 cents. Three tens is the same as 30. 
let's look at the last row of coins. What coin is this? This is the biggest silver coin. It's a quarter. Do you remember how much a quarter is worth? A quarter is 25 cents. Now we haven't practiced counting by 25 a lot, but we are going to do it right now. And you could also write an addition equation if you wanted help. Let's count by 25. 25, 50, 75. This is worth 75 cents altogether. Three quarters is the same as 75 cents. Great job. Today in your packet work, you have more subtraction problems to practice. You are going to have to unbundle for some of these problems. So today we are going to practice some subtraction problems together. Remember, there are two different strategies we've practiced in second grade to help us with subtraction and addition. Do you remember those strategies? One of them is a vertical equation and the other is a place value chart. Today, I'll start with a vertical equation. I already have my chart, but I'm going to fill in the units. H for hundreds, T for tens, and zero for ones. For the vertical equation, we wanna make sure that we put the numbers in the right spots. 142 minus 38, 142, 100, four tens, and two ones, minus 38. Does 38 have any hundreds? No, it doesn't, so I'll leave the hundreds empty. 38 has three tens and eight ones. Am I done? I'm not done yet. I need to add a minus sign and an equal. Now my vertical equation is ready. Should I start by taking away hundreds, tens, or ones? If you said ones, you're right. Two ones minus eight ones. Hmm, can I do that? No, I can't take away eight from two. I don't have enough. What can I do? I can unbundle a 10 and change it into ones. So I'm going to cross out my tens. Instead of four tens, I'll now have three tens. Instead of two ones, I'll now have 12 ones because I'm adding 10 more ones. Now I can subtract. 12 minus eight is four. Now I'm ready to, sub to subtract tens. Three tens minus three tens is zero. One hundred minus zero hundreds is one hundred. I got the answer 104. I want you to pause the video and see if you get the same answer using a place value chart. Then we'll do it together. Hundreds, tens, and ones. This time, instead of modeling the problem with a vertical equation, I'm going to use 100 squares, 10 sticks, and ones. 142. There's 100, four tens, and two ones. Should I also model 38? No, I shouldn't. I'm taking away 38. I'm not adding 38, <clears throat> so I will not model 38. To start, I'm going to take away eight ones. Do we have eight ones to take away? No, we only have two. What can we do? I'm going to take a 10 and I'm going to move it into the ones place. One 10 becomes 10 ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now I have enough ones to take away eight of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's count how many ones I have left. One, two, three, four. There are four ones left. So I'll put a four in the ones place. How many tens are we taking away? Three tens. Let's cross them out. One, two, three. How many tens do I have left? Zero. Are we taking away any hundreds? Nope, 38 doesn't have any hundreds to take away. So we have 100 left. We got the same answer. Great job. Let's practice one more problem together. 328 minus 265. This time, let's start with a place value chart first. You can do it on your paper while we do it together here. 
328. How many hundreds are there? Three. So let's draw three hundreds. One, two, three. 328 has two tens and eight ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Should we also model 265? No, we shouldn't. We're taking away 265, so we don't need to model it. Let's start with our ones. We always start with our ones when we're adding or subtracting. We need to take away five ones. One, two, three, four, five. There are three ones left. How many tens do we have to take away? Six tens. Do we have six tens? Uh-oh, no we don't. What can we do to get enough tens to take away six? We have to unbundle a hundred. I'm taking this hundred and I'm unbundling it into the tens place. How many tens make up 100? 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There are 10 tens in 100. Now let's take away six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's count how many tens are left. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six tens are left. Now we're ready for hundreds. We need to take away two hundreds. One, two. There are zero hundreds left. I don't need to write anything in the hundreds place then. So our answer is 63. Pause the video and try solving it using a vertical equation to see if you get the same answer. Then we'll do it together. Hundreds, tens, and ones. Let's put the numbers in the right spot. Three hundreds, two tens, eight ones, minus two hundred, six tens, five ones. Sorry, some of my numbers are not showing up clearly. Then we also need to put a minus sign and the equal sign to finish our vertical equation. We will start with ones, just like we always do. Eight ones minus five ones is three. Two tens minus six tens. Uh oh, we can't do that. We have to unbundle a hundred to get more tens. I'm gonna cross out my three hundreds and since I'm unbundling 100, I'll only have two hundreds left. Then instead of having two tens, I'm getting 10 more tens, so I'll have 12 tens. 12 minus six is six. That's one of our doubles facts. Two minus two is zero. We got the same answer. Way to go, great job. Complete the rest of your problems in your packet using one of these strategies we just practiced. Make sure to send pictures of your work to your teacher. Great job.